It's really strange how everything we read in books we take it for granted. For example, I got myself a, let's call it an inspirational book from a guy named Osho. He's really inspirational one, but I gotta say I'm not fully, I'm not fully on the same path as his. Honestly, while I was living in Thailand, somehow I came across his book and I was really amazed. I was honestly really amazed by this book. I read like two pages from the middle, but like I wanna buy this book. So I got myself a book and after reading it twice, I read it twice so far. Every time I, I read it, I'm kind of less and less and less on the same path as his. Honestly, I read three of his books. This one is Courage, I read Emotions, and I forgot the title of the third one. But I gotta say, not everything that is out there and it's inspirational is good. I'm not gonna say he's bad, I just wanna say be cautious, be cautious about, about all the inspirational stuff around you because there is, there is this book, I mean it's not even a book, like a website full of, full of like inspirational quotes and everything and it says, the universe says yes. What does it mean? What does it even mean? The universe says yes. Who cares about the universe? Who cares? I mean, if you want to inspire something, give him a story, give him a, an example. Don't give them like BS, like, you can do it, you're the best. I mean, I'm more than happy and more than super focused on helping people. Getting them reached to the point where they're, well, they're gonna be like super happy about having someone to inspire them because I love inspiring people, I love educating people, I love making people feel like super motivated. But I do it with examples. I give you my example of how I went to other continent, I went to another country. I didn't know how to speak the language, I didn't know anybody, but still I made my dream come true because I believed in it and What's really important? I was working for it. I was goddamn working on it. For it and on it. Know what I mean? So you have to work a lot. It's not about, oh, your, your goal is out there. There's only time between you and your goal. Nah, no, bro, it's not time. If you just wait for it, it will never happen. It will be it will be like unlimited time between you and your goal. You have to work for it. Because if you don't work, it might be somewhere there, but you'll never reach it. You will literally never reach it. I really hate inspirational quotes. I literally hate inspirational quotes. Some might say that I'm two-faced because I speak a lot about motivation and inspiration, but I kind of have everything guarded with an example, with an honest and true story, with a guideline, with a blueprint how to achieve it. I'm not someone who will say, you're awesome, you can do it. No, I'll tell you, you're not there yet, do this, do this, try that, and then you'll be there. There's a difference. So that's why I honestly hate inspirational and motivational quotes that you can find on someone's lock screen on their iPhones, you can find them as a screensaver, you can find it on their little notebooks, it says universe, says yes, stay calm, it's already determined. I, I was so when I saw stay calm, it's already determined. And I asked her, what is that? And the girl was like, Oh my god, you don't know about this, you don't know about this, how come you're calling yourself a motivational speaker if you don't know about this? I was like, okay, explain, explain, please explain. She told me there's this girl, woman, whatever, she's like a super famous motivational speaker. You know those fans like, stay calm and do this and do that? So she made the title, stay calm, it's already determined, saying that 
your goal is already out there, there is something already determined for you, you just have to wait. Seriously? 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 You just have to wait for it? I mean, how come you call yourself a motivational speaker by saying people that you just have to wait? How come? I mean, that's why I don't call myself a motivational speaker. I just love calling myself a public speaker. Because I love speaking to general public about stuff that they could be doing or could not, but they should or should not, whatever. You know, I have a mission of inspiring people on a positive way by giving them great stories and great examples of how things are done so far and how they could be doing same or similar or completely opposite thing just by seeing that someone else already did it, it's possible. And I'm not someone who like super rich and I bought myself a way into success. Nah, bruh, I was like super poor. Honestly, I was living in the door. I was paying rent like 12 euros. 12 euros is my rent. Currently it's like 350. But I was paying 12 euros while I was a student. It's not about being wealthy. It's not about being a lucky. It's about working for yourself. It's about getting your way around things. It's about not giving up. Currently, I have a, let's call it a company. It's going really bad. Like really bad. I'm losing money every single day. It's that bad. And I'm still working on it. That's what is not giving up. Because I know it's like a period of a month or two after losing some more money. Eventually, it will start working. It will start working better. And that's what it's all about. It's about working on yourself, on control of people saying just stay calm, everything is cool, you just have to wait, stay chill, you're the greatest, you are not the greatest. If you believe in this, trust me, you are not the greatest. Remember that.